All right, it is that time. Puro picks. If you're not here for Barbie, Oppenheimer, Barbieheimer, whatever we're calling it these days, we got plenty of things happening right here in San Antonio. And Stephanie Guetta, local influencer extraordinaire, whose handle rhymes with. Puro Flinche <laughs> is here to talk about it all. Okay, Stephanie, thanks as always for being here. I'm so happy to be here. And it makes sense that it's just the girls, right? Because it's a Barbie weekend. That's right. <laughs> and, okay, we're going to start with something that could go along with that theme, right? Yes. Expo Fiesta Latina. Yes, this is an amazing weekend of shopping at Wonderland of the Americas. And um, it is all Latina artisans. Um, the, you can do lots of shopping for pink there this Ooh, weekend. Perfect. So it's going to be a lot of fun. It's all day long today, tomorrow, and Sunday until 7 p.m. So no matter what time your movie is planned, <laughs> you can go get um, some outfits, some purses, some things for your house. Um, I do love that they have brought artisans from Mexico, from all over that are oh, Latina really cool. to come to this expo. And they have hundreds of vendors in the mall. So um, it's a really fun time because they also have folklorico, music, oh, um, you know, performances throughout the weekend, and Loteria Mexican Bingo is there too. So it's a really fun event and it's free. You should go shopping there. Yeah, so whether you want to go shop or just have a good time, it yes. sounds like that would be a good place to be. Yes. Okay, this one sounds really cool. Summer Saturday Studio Sessions. Yes, yeah, so SACI, -Si, which I know we've mentioned before, is a mm -hmm. great art or arts organization for our youth here in San Antonio. They have been having these free summer Saturdays where you can go and learn and take different classes and tomorrow Tomorrow is visual arts, so you'll be learning about art. It's free for all ages, family fun, and obviously, you know, we need to support our kids in doing something creative for the mm -hmm. summer, productive for the summer, but it's also fun for the whole family. So if you want to learn more about art, painting, um, that is going on tomorrow from 12 to 4 in their brand new facility on Brasso Street on the west side. So it's going to be a really fun time. And you know what? A place you can take the kids. Me and I were just talking about yes. this. A place you can take the kids with air conditioning yeah. that you can get them exactly out in front of a screen. That would be wonderful. Okay. Yes. So National Day of the Cowboy returns to one of the coolest spots in town. I yeah. think the Briscoe. The Briscoe is so neat, right? Historic, yeah. right on the river. They're celebrating the cowboy the cowgirl. That's right. And the vaquero, which a lot of people don't know the vaquero, the Mexican cowboy is the original cowboy, right? Mm -hmm. So um, it's going to be a really fun day of activities. They have a uh, chuck wagon cooking. Oh, they cool. have art um, that you can make. You get to obviously see all of the exhibits and the artifacts that the Briscoe hosts year round. Um, they have special events. And then they do have music from Eva Ibarra, who is an amazing, legendary accordion player. She oh, is wow. um, a great San Antonio institution, and she's performing live there tomorrow. So that's going to be a really good time. Another area to take people inside indoors yes. and get there and cool off. Off because yeah, that may be a prerequisite for anything everything this weekend for the next month <laughs> yes okay now here's one i don't know if it's indoors or not but i'm i support it a margarita <laughs> throwdown is happening yes so chef johnny hernandez is having his fifth annual margarita throwdown and it was originally outdoors at Ooh. la gloria brooks but they have moved it inside to their beautiful new cantina called casa hernan that is in very south smart. town very smart yes smart. so there are still tickets available you get to chill out inside it's a beautiful venue if you go to my social media you can see a fun video that we made one <laughs> night there um but everything inside is mexican decor mexican furniture um so it's a really neat spot and it's cool inside yes. and then the margaritas will help cool you down even more and the great thing I love about Chef Johnny is all of his events always have some kind of benefit tied into them so you know that they're <laughs> also you. giving back to the community and then also helping the service industry as well so so is this like a competition local margarita yes. makers yes there oh. will be a competition so they have the throwdown part of it you get to sample the margaritas from the different uh, bartenders that are shaking yeah. them up and it's a lot of fun that's awesome okay musical bridges around the world Yes, um, wow. this is a great uh, musical nonprofit that we have here in San Antonio that literally brings different types of music from all around the world um, right here in San Antonio. So musicians that already live here or are visiting here. And there is a premiere of The Quilt, A Living History of Amer African American Music. And it's a red carpet premiere at the Carver this Sunday at 2 o'clock. So there's going to be a lot of special guests. Um, there's a lot of great benefits. But Musical Bridges is just really brings San Antonio's music 
community to a, a a world a global level yeah. so they bring they have been putting on concerts and performances forever normally you have seen music from them at uh, main plaza the san fernando cathedral they do like these quiet intimate nighttime events inside theaters and venues um, but this is going to be a really special red carpet event on sunday and everybody should check it out and check out the carver theater because it's a yeah. great san antonio venue also endorse. <laughs> okay, speaking of a great San Antonio venue, I know a lot of people are looking forward to this next event. The <laughs> opening, grand reopening yes. of Lerma's nightclub. Yes, so um, probably a lot of people watching grew up on the south side like yeah. I did, and there is a, a historic nightclub called Lerma's that um, you know has been going through this tough legal battle of restoration over the last decade or more. Um, you know, since it shut down, they have been raising funds to restore it. And the Esperanza Peace and Justice Center, Justice Center is actually hosting the re-grand opening of it after all of that restoration, 3,000 3, square foot building. Sunday, it's gonna be a great baile. Everybody can go dance yeah. and have fun in the neighborhood. Um, it, you know. I remember my my aunts and uncles going there. You know, it's been it was around for a long time and really needed to stay alive in the South Side. So it's going to be a lot of fun. Go out there, fun for all ages again. Um, and I think they're going to have a lot of surprises too with community members that have been around oh, for a long time. Oh, that would be really cool. And you know, showing that they're still around, they're still yeah. making music, they're still performing. Um, it is a big deal. So it is a big know, deal. It's I was very puro. I was at the, uh, well, I'm, that's a, <laughs> glad you picked it then. I was at the uh, San Antonio Conservation Society earlier today, yes. was looking at a bunch of pictures, old pictures of Lermas, so that'll be awesome. Yeah, it's a, it's a it really historic place you cannot forget about. We can't leave it, you know, to close quietly. I'm glad we're celebrating it. And speaking of that really quickly, I ran into somebody in a store this week. Her name is Anna. She said she watches every week. She grew oh, up in San Antonio you, Anna. and she she recently moved back after being gone for a long time and she loves being able to see her hometown and all the local events that we talk about every week. And she wanted to say hi to you and Steve. Well, hi, Anna. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. And we're glad, Stephanie, you're always with us to tell us yeah. all the cool local things Thank you, Myra. that are happening. Yeah. But Barbie or Oppenheimer? I already saw Barbie. You I'm did? I'm going to go see Oppenheimer. Oh, look at you. <laughs> Very cool. And it's really good. And there's a lot of messages of female empowerment in the I love Barbie it. movie. So I wouldn't say take your tiniest kids. But if you got some preteens, teenagers that can understand it, okay. it's a great message for um, women and people of all ages. I love it. And <laughs> hey, before we let you go, yes, you and I have an announcement. Yes, happening tomorrow on yes. social media. Something cool that we are doing. We can't tell you now. We can't tell you now. But watch our social media tomorrow. That's right. We'll be spreading the word about a really great cause and yeah. benefit and events that will be happening. And we're going to team up yes. to do something cool <laughs> that we'll tell you about later. <laughs> Stephanie, thank you so much. Thank you, Maya. All right, we'll be right back. <laughs>
All right, a lot of talk about what we can do indoors this weekend, Mia, as we just, uh, you know, keep these temperatures in the triple digits. As we just continue to bake under the triple digits, exactly. Plenty of sunshine out there right now. Of course, it's been a pretty copy and paste scene over the past several days. And yes, more triple digits in store this weekend and even into next week as well. But with that heat high moving ever so slightly west, we do have those isolated rain chances in the forecast tomorrow and into Sunday. Now, what does that look like though? Stretching beyond that, we'll get to all those details coming up after the break. A Tejano singer in San Antonio took the witness stand at his trial and denied touching an underage girl inappropriately. Jesse Faria of Tropa F.A. is on trial on a charge of sexual assault of a child. The jury is now deliberating in this case. A Universal City man who was seen on video ripping the gas mask off of an officer during the Capitol riots found guilty on six felony charges. U.S. District Judge Trevor McFadden convicted Stephen Capuccio, a 53-year-old veteran of assault, disorderly conduct, and civil disorder. Online predators have parents more and more concerned after a San Antonio sex offender was arrested for using Snapchat allegedly to lure in and abuse children. A child psychiatrist we talked to reminds us all about the importance of having regular conversations with our kids about the dangers online. San Antonio police investigating after gunfire at a Northside apartment complex. Police were called out to the Elan at Castle Hills Apartments on Lock Hill Selma near West Avenue around 930 last night. They say multiple cars were seen leaving that area and shell casings were found there on the ground. All right, turning to the forecast once again, we know it's going to be hot, but some people maybe could get lucky with a few drops of rain? I would say, yeah, a few lucky folks. It certainly is possible, at least trending in the right direction over the next 48 hours with that subtle pattern shift. A few isolated rain chances return to the forecast, and it is no secret that we could definitely use it. Let's take a look at some of our rainfall stats here officially in San Antonio since June 1st, just over an inch of rain. That's it recorded here in town. That's over four inches below where we should be for this time since the 1st of June, since the 1st of the year, from January 1st, over 12 inches. But again, that's five inches below where we need to be when you compare it to the average. And of course, we are definitely seeing the effects of this dryness in our latest drought monitor update that was released yesterday morning. And the biggest thing that stands out, of course, is this red and even maroon color. That's extreme to exceptional drought. It's actually expanded a little bit more to include a larger portion of Hill Country real estate. And that has now worked its way into the northern half of Bear County. County and along the I-35 corridor points off to the west. So here's hoping that we will find a better, more significant pattern change as we head into the first couple of days of August. But for now, most of us just high and dry here in San Antonio. Plenty of sunshine, high pressure, very much in control. But here's what we've been talking about. That's already working farther west. And as we head into early Saturday morning, it's going to position itself over the desert southwest leaving just enough space for a little boundary to approach south central Texas throughout the day tomorrow. And when you combine that with the peak heat of the day, all of the moisture in place as well. Notice here on your timeline, four, five, six o'clock, a couple of isolated showers, maybe a stray rumble of thunder, certainly possible. But coverage is expected to be pretty low. Still, though, into Sunday, we'll keep that isolated rain chance going. So fingers crossed because we definitely could use it. So a few lucky folks cashing in on a few downpours out there. But again, coverage is expected to be pretty limited. Until then, we are just stuck with scenes like this. Plenty of sunshine, but hot temperatures, 100 degrees. The good news is we've been able to mix down a little bit of drier air this afternoon and evening. So feels like temperatures not too bad when compared to the actual air temperature. It's 102 in Pleasanton, 104 in Carrizo Springs this hour, 
99 in Kerrville, 97 right now in Rock Springs. KSAT 12 hour forecast heading into the first half of the weekend, mid to upper 70s. A muggy start first thing tomorrow with a few morning clouds, pretty similar to what we've seen over the past several mornings. And then we'll see plenty of sunshine take over by lunchtime, 90 degrees by 11 a.m., already 96 though by 1 p.m. And then into the later portions of your Saturday afternoon, we've got that forecast high pointed at 103 here in town. Still some moisture lingering into the afternoon, so heat index values topping off closer to about 108. In terms of those actual air temperatures, 103 in Gonzales, same up in New Braunfels, 101 in Kerrville, 105 in Carrizo Springs, and 106 out west in Del Rio. So as we take a look at your seven-day forecast, again, that isolated chance for rain continues this weekend, and then after that, high pressure strengthens yet again. So those rain chances are knocked out of the forecast. Heat is still the main story, and that's also when we may need to monitor for a little bit of Saharan dust moving in yet again, mm -hmm. Myra. So we'll, of course, continue to keep you posted on all these details throughout the weekend and next week as well. Yeah, not done with the dust. Thanks, Mia. The buzz is coming up next. In the buzz today, we head to San Diego, where you will see superheroes, familiar characters, and a few villains. Comic-Con kicked off there this week, but the event won't look like it has in years past. Major TV and movie studios opted not to participate because of that writers and actors strike happening right now. But some fans say that's an opportunity to get back to their roots and remember what old school Comic-Con was all about. Friendship among fans who share the same passion. Okay, next up in the buzz, we talked a little bit about this earlier. Which movie are you seeing this weekend? Barbie or Oppenheimer? Seems like those are the choices with both potential summer blockbusters hitting theaters today. It started a craze called Barbenheimer, so here's a solution that some have found. Go see them both, do a double feature. There's even a Barbenheimer Wikipedia page now promoting what's become a viral marketing phenomenon, pushing moviegoers to go see both. We'll be right back. All right, low triple digits still in place right now here in San Antonio. So if you're stepping out for any Friday evening plans, just know that it's still going to be hot. And as we head into the weekend, yes, more heat continues a high around 103 tomorrow and then closer to about 102 on Sunday. We do have those isolated rain chances in the forecast. So we'll monitor for a few showers before the weekend is over. And then into next week, it's all about the heat yet again with more daily opportunities to climb into the triple digits, Myra. I like that. Opportunities. We're just <laughs> trying chance. to make it through. <laughs> Thanks, Mia. And thank you so much for watching. Have a great weekend. I'll see you back here on Monday.